is they never broke through. You ever been in such a All right, Crunchy Cross, so the plan is we're gonna try to get some speckled trout today. Right behind me, we have the kayak launch point. We got the baby boat ready to go. Right there, the canals exit out into Copano Bay. It's usually a pretty calm body of water. And from what I've heard, it has amazing fishing. And I'm already seeing a ton of mullet jumping right now. So let's get some fish, y'all. I am feeling optimistic, y'all. Let's hope we get some good fish. Or at least a fish. It's been a little rough recently. Yeah, we got a pretty wicked incoming tide right now. Right here in this kind of central meeting area between these three points is where I was catching them at. So for today, I have a, a Z-Man diesel minnow and trout sickle. It's a pretty decent color. Quarter ounce Texas side jig head. Oh, and I almost forgot to mention, in the last video, I had a cast king setup with a loose reel, and I have completely gotten rid of that setup. Now I've got a water loose salinity, seven foot medium light, moderate fast. And I put that with a Daiwa Coastal. Absolutely mean combo, y'all. Putting it right out in the middle where I saw him yesterday. So far, nothing on this. All right, so over here on the second rod, we've got a popping cork. It's gonna be a woody, shrimpy popping cork. Man, that was hard to say. On the bottom, I've got a DOA sparkly shrimp. This seemed to be the move yesterday, so I'm hoping they want it today too. We can get ourselves a nice couple little specks. That was a fish and I missed him. <laughs> Seems like they're gonna like the same thing today as they did yesterday. Conditions are pretty similar, so that makes sense. There we go, there we go. Set the hook for me too. Feisty little squirt, man. Oh, dude. <laughs> he came off in the net, like as I, as I put him in the net, hook came out of his mouth. Come here, little bub. Please come back. So, like, so slimy, so slimy. And that is the first trout of the day <laughs> over the edge of the boat. Man, he was like extra slimy compared to the other ones. Holy moly. Well, that's one speck. Skunks out of the boat. That's all I was really worried about was not being able to show you guys any fish today. Sometimes I'll make a video where I don't catch anything, but usually I like to bring you guys at least something. That way it's not too boring. Got the snacks on deck, literally. And that's the first time I've had a trout like set the hook on itself like that. That was pretty funny. <laughs> usually they're pretty good at hitting and spitting, but this time, not the case. All right, sun's coming out just a little bit. Usually that helps the bite pick up, at least when it comes to trout. I know normally you're supposed to work the popping cork with the current, but I keep hearing fish blowing up back here behind me, so. There's one. It's not bad either. Ooh, this is a good trout, man. Holy moly, that's a good trout. Come here. Oh, oh my God, that's a keeper. That is 100% a keeper. Y'all, look at the size of this trout. Oh my goodness, man. 
my gosh y'all that's a fat trout y'all <laughs> that is a good trout all right back where you came from buddy I almost don't like using the popping cork because I feel like it's cheap. It is a legitimate fishing technique. It just feels so easy. It feels like it's cheating. It feels like it should almost be like a last resort type of technique, but it's just a fun technique to use. I like it. Helps you locate fish too. Like for instance, I know there's trout right here in the center area now. Came back the next day and found them in the exact same spot thanks to the popping cork. There's one. Ooh, not bad. Another decent trout. Hey, buddy. Come on. I got you. Little dude has a nasty injury on his side. You don't see that? Looks like he got poked with something. Slippery little torpedoes, man. Almost as slippery as flounder. Speaking of flounder, I actually want to try to get one. I think I know a spot where they might be at. That was a fish. Missed him. Because I am the worst angler in history. Oh, I lost another one. Dude, I quit. I'm done fishing. I quit. I'm the worst angler in history. Put it in the books, everyone. Put it in the Bass Pro Shops book of history. Still on, I think. No. Came off. I saw him for like a second. Yeah, that was on me though. That was a really bad hook set. Oh my God, there's another really bad hook set. That's a fish. There's a fish on it. As I was trying to fix my line that happened got him that time whatever that is he's mine now it's not a bad trout is what it is with tons of spots on him see you later you all witnessed some of the most embarrassing hook sets of my freaking life just now <laughs> I'm so bad, man. Missed another one. Stuck one. Oh my God, y'all. This is the biggest trout I have caught all day. Check him out. Is this a sand? No, this is a speckled trout. I would call you an absolute football, but you're not a bass, and only bass get that status. So, goodbye. Ooh, fighter. Buddy, buddy, you unhooked yourself for me. Come here. Not under the seat. Ouch, right in the thigh. I was kind of hoping that this would have been a interesting little multi-species kind of jigging video, but I'm just kind of proving everyone's point that the popping cork is a beast and it has completely dominated today's video. That's another fish. I'm not getting a break today.
climbing little squirts. If anyone from Phillips Tackle Company is watching this, I absolutely love these woodies. It's pretty much become like my confidence bait as of recently. If you can consider a popping cork a bait, I'm not sure. I don't know if you consider it like a form of terminal tackle, but. Another one. Ooh, this one feels pretty decent actually. Not bad, man, not bad. if anyone's home over here on this side. There was someone home. I missed him though. Y'all should have been able to see the cork go down in the water that time. That was right next to me. Oh, I missed him again. Probably gonna be another trout. Yep. Little speckly specks. I got you. another one right in front of the boat oh <laughs> oh that was a good one dude my arm is gonna be so sore after today it takes like a decent amount of force to get the cork back out of the water once a fish pulls it down y'all this doa shrimp is literally shredded like it has serrated edges on it Cross. So we ended up catching a lot more fish than I thought we would. Ended up absolutely slaying them on the popping cork. DOA shrimp that loves to stab me in the thumbs. But that looks like it's gonna do it for today's video. If you guys enjoyed today's video, give it a thumbs up. Hit the comment section below, let me know what you guys thought of the video. And if y'all haven't already, hit the subscribe button and join the Crunchy Cross. And I'll be seeing y'all in the next one. Peace.